It's now time for Ask the Vet, brought to you by Brasses Valley Equine Hospital, dedicated professionals committed to helping each horse reach its full athletic potential. Hi, I'm Ben Buchanan, one of the internal medicine specialists at Brazos Valley Equine Hospital. Kelly from Houston wants to know more about Cushing's in horses. Kelly, thank you for that question. Cushing's in horses is an endocrine condition, more appropriately called pituitary pars intermedia dysfunction, or PPID. The pituitary is a major hormone control center in the body, and as a horse ages, it begins to malfunction. Early clinical signs include decreased performance, change in attitude, lethargy, regional sweating, abnormal fatty deposits, recurring abscesses or chronic laminitis, and weight gain. More advanced symptoms include the lack of hair coat shedding, loss of muscle mass, frequent urination and poor immune function, weight loss, and infertility. It's not known what percentage of horses are affected by PPID, but at BVEH, we encourage owners of horses over 15 years of age to have their horse tested annually. The sooner we can identify there is a problem, the fewer clinical issues the horse will have to endure. While PPID is not a condition that can be cured, there is an FDA-approved treatment that allows us to control the problem. Prosin is a stable form of pergolide that helps to regulate the abnormal function of the pituitary. Other, com other forms of compounded pergolides that are being sold lose their potency rapidly and lead to suboptimal regulation. So Kelly, I hope that answers some of your questions about Cushing's and horses. More information is available on our website at bveh.com. At BVEH, we have several specialists who enjoy working on older horses and on endocrine problems. If you have a question about your horse, come visit us. Or you can look us up on Facebook at Brazos Valley Equine Hospital. Ask the Vet, brought to you by Brasses Valley Equine Hospital, now with three convenient locations in Texas, Navasota, Rockdale, and Stephenville.